We got a lot to talk about on the Dynamite Report. The show opened with John Moxley and Big Bill for the international title. And uh, they teased on Collision a John Moxley versus Ray Phoenix match. And then they announced this match for his hometown. And I thought, ah, whatever. You know, Big Bill, he'll be fine. This match was great. <laughs> this match was great. And the fans, there was only like 2,500 people there. But man, you know, it's Moxley's hometown, so they were loud for this guy. And he sold for this dude. And amazingly, I know you'll be stunned, he bled. And finally at the end, they did that, uh, kind of that Tim Sylvia finish, sort of. Except the announcer didn't know what was going on. Where uh, Bill is uh, in his guard and he's making fun of him. And he grabs him by the neck because he's going to go for a, uh, a choke slam. And uh, Moxley throws the legs up for the triangle. And then switches to an arm bar. And he taps out old Big Bill. And then, you know, the heels come down, and Danielson's there, and they're beating him up, and Ricky's hitting Moxie with his shoe. And finally, Claudio runs down, helps clear the ring. This sets up the the tag match for Collision Saturday. We had Renee with Roddy in the kingdom, and Cole interrupts, and Roddy is like, oh, now you care about my neck. The only neck you need to worry about is your buddy MJF. I'm going to win tonight. I'm going to break Max's back and win the AW title because I'm a wrestling legend. And, you know, by the time the show is over, Roddy is a wrestling legend. He's the greatest. Between him and Nana, it's a toss-up, dude. The greatest man in wrestling today. Is Nana in the PWI 500? Because he should be, like, at least in the top ten. No? I didn't see his name on the list. Mm. Don and Takesh to come out for the unveiling of their newest painting. And these paintings, like a lot of work goes into these paintings. So I was kind of disappointed at the end, this despicable nerd. Essentially, it's a it's a painting of Kota Bushi. He's their next target. They want to make Kenny squirm. And so uh, it's a painting of them going to butcher Kota Bushi. And then, <laughs> yeah, Takesh has a sword. Yeah. Right? He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna decapitate him. Good and God. then. Don says, I'm going to love the fact that while we are spilling Ibushi's blood in this ring, you'll be home helpless like the pathetic cuck you are. And the crowd goes, ah! And then he takes a screwdriver and he jabs it through the head of Ibushi, destroys the nice painting. Terrible. Was it, are you going to get to this later, but was it on this show that he ran into Daniel Garcia? Yes. As well. Yes. BCC is with Alex Marvez and... And there's a uh, pull apart with Moxley and Phoenix, and then Claudio and Eddie have a stare down, and Eddie says, "One more week," and he laughs. The BCC has seemingly turned babyface. Well, I mean, they're the past in a couple weeks. Uh, I know the they're hometown, tweeners, so. kind of. Yeah, they're they're but, whatever they are at any time. They're just well, bad they, dudes. They, sh- they shook hands with the elite right after the blood and guts. Yeah, but that was off air. They uh, they decided to do that on their own. It wasn't something that was booked. Gotcha. Then we had Renee with Hook, and uh, poor Orange shows up. He's all sad. And uh, he says, man, you know, you don't have tape all over your body. You have a belt. What are you so mad about? And uh, Hook says, you were a great champion, Orange. Orange says, you are too. And then Hook leaves, and Orange is so sad. Britt Baker, Nyla Rose, Akara Shida, Tony Storm, number one contenders match. Won by Tony Storm. She rolled up Britt Baker and pinned her. I don't think we're getting this Britt baker Soraya match that I thought was so obvious coming up for the last four weeks. They beat Britt. Tony gets the win. And then uh, Britt and Sheeta got into an argument. So they're clearly going to be doing a match at some point. They've been building that up for a while as well. And uh, Tony Storm getting the shot next week. Well, she's maybe the best character in wrestling right now. So. She's quite a character, run, but run I can't call her the can. best with Roderick Strong and Prince Nana on this show. Come on. She's at least third. Jericho and Sammy came out for a promo. You know, Jericho played the role of uh, me. Sammy played the role of you. I talked about how I'd elevated you and and then saw you grow and turn into a man. But you know what? It's not time for you to beat me yet. And, uh, and Sammy's like, that's why I need to beat you. I need you to respect me the way I respect you. 
So next week, I'm going to beat you. Not the 2018 little kid me, the, the man me. And we're going we're gonna to do that match. I'll earn your respect, and we're going to shake hands, hug, and win some tag team titles. And they shake, and then Jericho yanks him in and says, I'm going to give you the match of your life. I'm going to beat the hell out of you. And I expect the same out of you. So it was a great segment. It was a fantastic segment. Like, we've got two friends wrestling each other next week, and they did such an awesome job here that you want to see them fight and see what happens. This was good. We had an MGF promo with Adam Cole taped last week. MGF got the week off because of his neck. And he's, they asked him, like, you know, who do you think you're going to face in this, uh, this deal? And he goes, well, you know, there's two people that I think most people would presume will go to the finals. One is r- that simp Roderick Strong. And he starts burying Roderick Strong, and Adam Cole's just like, I'm a, yeah. and then he starts burying Joe, vows to choke him out. And then he channeled Scott Steiner. He did the Steiner math promo. And, uh, you know, the Steiner math thing, when Steiner did it, it's like, it's just amazing. And it was funny because of Steiner. And, uh, and this was funny, but it was actually the funniest if you watch Renee. The look of absolute utter disgust on Renee's face as MJF is doing this Scott Steiner promo. Whatever she's paid, also not enough. Hangman Page and Brian Cage. That'll be easy to do this review. Had a good match. Had a very good match. Hangman hit the moonsault off the post, tossed Cage into the ring, hit a high cross, goes for the buckshot, Cage catches him. Hangman counters into a cradle, hits a dead eye, pins him. So old swerves on the on the ramp, and he's disgusted. And Hangman said, you know, you cut a big promo on me last week about not having any drive or determination. Well, there you are standing on the ramp doing nothing while this guy does your work. And Swerve says, sounds like you want to fight. Well, we're going to do it when I want to do it. And I'm choosing the great state that birthed Swerve Strickland. It'll be October 1st in Seattle. But I'm going to make sure you're not too comfortable before then. So Cage jumps Hangman. Nana gets in the ring, he starts doing his dance. This is like the new Nana thing he's been doing lately. And usually he does it to uh, Swerve's music, which is even better. He did it on Collision. I was just absolutely dying at Nana. And so now he just starts doing it as they're beating the dude down. And the Young Bucks fly in and they clear the ring. And then he's still dancing. He doesn't know what's going on. And they start dancing behind him. And then this idiot turns around. He eats the double super kick. He takes his bump and then he starts doing that. He's selling like he's a salmon out of water. I was dying. Nana is a gem. He's a treasure. Do you understand? And he just signed a new deal, and I hope he made a million dollars a year. Because he's great. So then, yes, Daniel Garcia is doing some rant, and up comes Don Callis. And he's trying to recruit him. And Garcia stops him, and he starts doing his stupid dance, and he dances away off screen. And Don Callis is nonplussed. Wow, he says. That's money. That's money right there. He walks off after Daniel Garcia. (laughs) He's right. He is building a family, he says. But he only has one family member right now. But uh, the long journey to the family of Don Callis has been great so far. I mean, I think Daniel Garcia is as good of a choice as any for this this group. And if not, he's going to end up fighting Takeshita if... He doesn't join, so it'll probably work out for him pretty well. Then we had Darby and Nick versus Daddy Magic and Angelo Parker. And uh, this, this is one of the matches where you have four guys that are so good that the match totally falls apart in the last couple of minutes, but somehow most people didn't even notice. There was a deal where I think Daddy Magic was supposed to pull Nick out of the ring, and he forgot, and then he remembers. And then Daniel Garcia is supposed to run down, and he forgets. And so, you know, Nick's on the post, and he's supposed to jump onto two guys, but there's only one guy there. So I guess he was like, well, we're live, brother. <laughs> and so he starts diving, and it's his min in it. You see Daniel Garcia just fly in from the back, and he flies in to catch this guy. I'm like, oh, my God. And then Darby hits a coffin drop and wins. And then uh, that's when Christian shows up to be despicable. And next week at Arthur Ashe, it is Darby and Sting versus Christian and Luchasaurus. And then the main event, the last, God, the last 15 minutes of the show was so awesome. First, it's Roderick Strong and Samoa Joe. The match is great. Like, Roddy's, you know, he's a heel, 
But still, like, he'll make a little comeback, and then Joe just runs him over like a freight train. Literally, like a freight train. Like, if there was a train, and somebody was on the tracks, and they got hit by a freight train, that's what happened to Roderick Strong here, when Samoa Joe just freaking ran him over with an elbow. But it's also Roderick Strong running full speed at the train. Yes. (laughs) Yeah. He was a real idiot. So then he gets some heat, then Joe makes a comeback, and... And finally, there at the end, the finish was so awesome. Strong hits the angle slam. He hits the sick kick. He makes the cover. Joe kicks out. Now he's like, I'm going to do my big jumping knee. He hits the ropes through this jumping knee. And Joe lariated him out of midair. I think he killed him. And then he put him in the choke and choked him out. So it's Joe and MJF for the title on Wednesday. And then, you know, Joe's cutting this promo. He threatens to take everything, everything from MJF. And he goes to leave. And so Roderick's in the ring, and he's yelling at the kingdom. Guy, where were you guys? Blah, blah, blah. He's, you know, he's just yelling at him. And all of a sudden, uh, Adam Cole starts running down the ramp, and the kingdom's like, here comes Adam. And so all of a sudden, Roddy goes, ah! And he grabs his neck and takes a bump. And he's laying on the ground holding his neck, and he's screaming, Adam! Adam! His neck. So Adam gets in the ring. And uh, and first Taz, Taz is like, Hey, you know, you turn your head really quick. You can get a stinger. Like, this can happen. And Tony Schiavone's like, that's not what happened here. And he's he's on the ground screaming, and Adam's trying to get in the ring, and the kingdom's like, no, get out of here. This is all your fault. And he's like, and, and Roderick's like, Adam. And so they bring over all the guys, and they're putting a neck brace on him, and they're putting him onto the, the stretcher. And uh, Mike Bennett's outside, and he screams at the top of his lungs, I am very concerned. <laughs> And, and uh, I was fucking dying. Whoa. The kingdom. Well, did I just say that? I didn't. Hit that. Hit that button. The uh, the kingdom has quickly become one of the best things in all of AEW. And like a month ago, a month ago, it's like you have this great storyline with MJF and Adam Cole, and and the kingdom keeps coming out. And at the time, everyone's like. God, the kingdom. Why are the kingdom involved in this thing? Now, whatever they're all making is half of what they deserve. This is the greatest crew ever. And then, you know, they they drag, uh, you know, Roderick Roddy to the back. He's he still such, screaming, Adam! He's such a dweeb. He's so great. I, they should have put the glasses on him while he was on the stretcher. So they drag this poor bloke to the back. And uh, the kingdom's still screaming at Cole, this is all your fault! And Cole's like, shut up, you guys! And then all of a sudden, out flies Samoa Joe, and he grabs Cole from behind, and he chokes him unconscious, and then he yells into the the camera, I told you, MJF, I'm going to take everything! This was the best last 15 minutes of a show I've seen in forever! As was evidenced by me forcing uh, poor Byline to hit that dump button. God, this ruled. It was so great. I'm calling it Down Granny's Memory Lane. Are you reading from your memoirs? Yes. No, no, no. That's past. Oh, okay. This is new stuff. This is more up to date. You know, I see. Okay. This is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just. No, no, no. no. (laughs) The New Testament. Everyone let her go. We lived on a farm 10 miles east of Baker. More yeah. recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't new, no, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're just going to be quiet. And you, am I out of my you, mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martell's and Hebes. Hebes? Martell. <laughs> the Hebes. The Hebes. And the Heaps only had one daughter named Alice. Yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Heaps? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> You thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.